modules at animodule.com check this out okay this is a simple patch we got three oscillators each tuned to a different pitch and some filtered noise going in here Everything is those inputs and gates being provided by the Animodule TikTok clock multiplier divider. There's a saw wave going into the CV input on the mixer as well. Alright, let's break it down. I'll show you. I simplify everything. Turn this up so you can hear it. attenuated for the input an output a gate input and a switch now all four of these outputs are summed and buffered down to this mixer output Right now, I have all the switches off, and I have a simple clock going into the clock input on the sequencer section. Now, the sequencer section has a CV input, an attenuator, and offset. There's a clock input and a reset input. Now, the CV input and the clock input can be used independently or simultaneously but we'll, we'll get to that later. The sequencer section will exclusive OR with the gate and switch section. So say I turn one of these channels on. See, now the sequencer step to it and it turns off and then it will remain on as the sequencer steps through exclusive or the same thing will happen if I add a gate let's give it a little faster gate That's not the, okay, we'll show you with the uh, noise here. All right, and then I'll add the little melody, the little harmony chord back up there. Standard 
sequencer step through, plus the gate inputs and the exclusive ore. That's pretty neat, but it's, uh, you know, we can get more interesting than that. Let's, uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to take the step input out. We're going to reset it. Step input out. And where is the clock? The saw wave is right here. Okay, I'll take these two out just for a frame of reference. Or you can take it and run it backwards. <laughs> if you have a ramp wave. Oh, I had that backwards. Okay, that's the saw wave. Here's the ramp wave. Okay, now let's add. Now I'll leave them out for a second. Okay, now what gets cool, you can run the clock and the CV simultaneously. Now, this TikTok multiplication is a multiple of the saw wave that's running this. What is it? I think it's, um, it's, it's actually, um, the saw wave divided by four. So every fourth step, the sequencer should step at one. I'm, I may have that wrong. Now, something else that's neat is when the CV is running and you send a clock pulse in, it bit shifts to the left. It rotates it down one. So you can never fall off the edge or jam up. And this, this is a recipe for some pretty interesting uh, rhythms. Let's see if I can uh, put this into a separate. Oh yeah, I I had that figured wrong. That's a uh, different. I think it's divided by two or something. Let's let's move it somewhere else where we uh, get something weird. All right, you got that. Uh, you see, you can do some really cool stuff by messing around with different divisions. Now I'm gonna put it back to the original one. What is it, divided by two? So every two saw waves, it should step it up one. Now, there is a reset input here. Let me find this uh, patch cable here. There we go. Now, the reset resets the steps to where the CV is. Since it's been being bit shifted with every clock impulse. All right, let's uh, let's get weird again and add a little syncopation with this noise. We'll add.
some more gate inputs here. Show you one more thing. Say you don't want to use the sequencer section at all. There you go. You just take out the clock, you take out the CV, and you turn the offset down to zero and that will clear it you can use each channel individually or you can use the mixer here let me turn some of these switches on we'll get a little drone going some really cool stuff to do with the static guy. It's also cool. Each function can be used separately. You don't need to use the sequencer to use the mixer or to use the switches and the gate inputs. You don't even need to use the mixer to use the uh, individual channels. There's always something on here that you will use in a patch. I, I guarantee it. We're just uh, getting some percussion that's going through. Or mixing some signals together. This will never just waste space in your rack. You will use it in every patch. I'm with Animodule. You check our modules out at animodule.com. This will be available within a few days. Check out the dealers. It 
is a mix between the V9A, the Mix Man, the Triple XOR, and the Voltage Control Scanner Switch, all in an 8 HP package. I mean, you'll be able to do some really cool stuff with this. Thank you. 